Cause I shit my shoulder that I'm sure somebody spit in. You having a nice laugh, are you? You're like, I don't wanna watch you do it! Hey! And go! What's up everyone, Adam from FWCI, we're gonna watch Chicago, that's right, the old Windy Apple. Uh, I believe this is a musical and it's set during Prohibition times, that's basically all I've got to go with it. My missus has been recommending this forever, this is one of her favourite movies, so her name's Sarah, thank her in the comments if you enjoy this reaction, or uh, blame me if you don't enjoy it. If you want a full length version of this reaction, patreon.com slash fwci is where you can get it. $5 redos a month is all it costs, and you also get early access to movies and a bunch of other stuff as well. But, uh, yeah, Chicago, Prohibition Times. Uh, is that Al Capone? Am I in the same thing? When I think Al Capone, I just think Homer Simpson. There was nothing in Al Capone's vault, but it wasn't Geraldo's fault. Do! I've been doing a few musicals as of late. I did Mamma Mia, I did uh, In the Heights, I did Hamilton. Um, what else have I done? A bunch of Disney's, they count as musicals, don't they? They're song ones, right? But I got a funny feeling there's gonna be, I, I did Moulin Rouge as well. I have a funny feeling this is gonna have a different vibe to the other ones, but maybe it'll be a little bit Moulin Rouge-ish in ways. Let's jump into the movie, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go to Chicago. <sighs> Chicago. Are we gonna get a bit of this in this one? This kind of dancing? <laughs> I'm already digging this. <laughs> Quentin Tarantino, did you direct this? Oh, this is one of the Kelly sisters, I guess. The disgruntled one. Where's Veronica? She's not a stuff tonight. Oh, okay. No, she's the one that does the job. What are you packing heat for, Velma? What's this? Velma, who are you murdering? Come on, boo, while we paint the town. Hello. Velma Kelly, that's your name, isn't it? And all that jazz. This is quite a uh, raunchy <laughs> beginning to this movie. Damn. And all that jazz. Renee Zellweger. Who the fuck is Renee Zellweger? I want a brand new start to do that. Yeah. Oh, Renee Zellweger, you want to be Val McKelly? It's all arranged. Roxy, watch him. Come on, play. We're gonna break the sky. I'm a kid. This is quite the performance. <laughs> Jesus. That oh. oh, well, that's unfortunate. Mrs. Burquicks, Burquicks. He's my brother. <laughs> that's not better. Oh, oh, we getting down like that? I mean, the drunken groping up the stairs probably should have been a bit of a clue. My little shooting star. Wow, she is obsessed with stardom, isn't she? Freddy. Fred. What's up your butt, Fred? It's been a month since you told him about me. And I know. Because that was the night Bill McKelly plugged her husband and her sister. Oh, that's what happened. Husband and her sister, yeesh. Yeah. Wake up, kiddo. You ain't never gonna have an act. What? Fred. Fred. Hey. Your husband will be home soon. What are you watching? Your husband? Son of a bitch. Yes, son of a bitch. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Hey. She studies trigger tai chi. I hear it's a new city record. From killing to confession in an hour for life. Wow. So that's it, no more Renee Zellweger in this one? Dewey Cox, I see you there. No, I gave myself up. Surrendered to my own free will. Isn't he that cheerful? <gasps> he confessed? What are you doing, bro? Well, I come home from the garage and I see him climbing through the window. Uh-huh. You're a good liar there. 
Dewey. Think of what would have happened if I went out for a beer with the guys instead of coming straight home? What makes you sick even thinking about it? I guess for I her first like, number. So she's five. just, even in a situation like this, fantasizing about being a music star. <clears throat> Burlesque star? Sing star? What do we call this? Funny honey of mine. Yeah, she's good for this role. <laughs> she is great in this kind of like, is it 40s, I think, motif? And if you know him like me. Jesus Christ, this movie is horny as hell. <laughs> You know what I mean? Violated? I know what you mean. Or something. Think how terrible that would have been. It's a good thing I got home from work on time. I'm telling you that. <laughs> uh, buddy, I got bad news for you. I'm guessing he knows what was going on though. My wife knows him. He sold us our furniture. He gave oh. us 10% off. Lord oh. knows he ain't got the smarts. <laughs> And how I ought to say I did it because I was sure to get off. Help me, Amos. She says it's my goddamn hour. No, wow. He told me he's a burglar. God the whole time he's been up here jazzing him. <laughs> jazzing him? What I hear, he's been burgling you three times a week for the last month. Ooh. For the wife and five little Casleys, or did he forget to mention them? Is she gonna become like a criminal bar singing megastar? Did I hear hanging? Countess of the Clink, the mistress of Murderer's Row, Matron Mama Morton. Oh no. <laughs> Queen Latifah. <laughs> Dickies in my pen. They'll tell you I'm the biggest mother. So is this Zellwidge's story, but then. It's all like this kind of shit in her head? Because I'd be down with that. That sounds great. Reciprocity. Yeah, right, Latifah, sing it. Got a little mana. Hello. Always sees me through when you're good to mama. Mama's good to you. <laughs> so if there's something that upsets you or makes you unhappy in any way, Shoot your fat ass mouth off to me because I don't give a shit. Now move it out. <laughs> Jesus Christ. When you're good to mama, mama. I want to sing along to this, but it feels weird. <laughs> Ain't you the pretty one? Thank you, man. Don't call me mama. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you couldn't buy that kind of publicity. Couldn't buy it? I guess. We get. Got a belt in prison? Never my ragu. Spice it up for mama. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Let's all stroke together. Like the Princeton crew. <laughs> Mama's stroking you. Alright, Mama. I hear you over there. I think maybe there's something wrong with the heat. Not that I'm complaining, mind you, but, but you don't work for her. Oh, Zell Widger, you got a long few years ahead of you. On Brooklyn Nine-Nine, I, recently I think I heard Boyle say something about, um, uh, I have to close my eyes during the, the, I thought the scary, the prison parts in Chicago were too scary or something like that, so that's helping me connect the dots of what's going on with the structure of this movie. And I like it, I think it's a good, uh, interesting way to tell the story. And now, the six merry murderesses of the Cook County Jail. Oh, the six merry murderesses? <laughs> That's why my missus loves this. Six squish. Uh-uh. Cicero. Lip shit. What? Am I about to be, like, uh, activated as some sort of sleeper agent now? He had it coming. He had it coming. He only had it. <laughs> This feels like an appropriate time to mention that I recently watched uh, Double Jeopardy on the channel, so go check out that one. Cop. 
So I came home this one day and I'm really irritated and I'm looking for a little bit of sympathy. What is the one that says, uh-uh, what's her story gonna be? Into his head. <laughs> You've been warned, all right? Oh, no. A new contender has entered the chat. So we started living together. He go to work and come <laughs> off. This is just a card game. Amazing. Single, he told me. Single my ass. Not only was he married. Oh, no. He had six wives. Six? Oh. <laughs> you know, some guys just can't hold their arsenic. He had it Jesus Christ, lady. I'd probably still accept a drink from her, what can I say? No, I'm standing in the kitchen, carving up the chicken for dinner. Squish, oh no, oh no. And he ran into my knife. He ran into my knife ten times. Clumsy. Okay. Tell us your story through the art of dance. <laughs> did you do it? Uh-uh. Not guilty. She's the one who won't admit it. Okay. I come back, open the door, and there's Veronica and Charlie. Hello, Veronica. Whoa. The spread eagle. <laughs> it wasn't until later, when I was washing the blood off my hands, I even knew they were dead. Is she innocent? I'm guessing not. <laughs> Little, they had it coming, doesn't scream innocent. By the way, who is the psycho that wrote this song? <laughs> is that Maya? He found Ruth, Gladys, Rosemary, and Irving. Oh. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Why did this guy get it so hard? <laughs> oh, no, this is just an overall. They're all dirty bums, got it. You know what? I kind of understand, to be honest. <laughs> There's some horrible, horrible accusations about WWE wrestling president or whatever you call him these days uh, that he did some terrible, terrible shit. That was recently. God knows what it was like back then. Hello. We don't see many of those down here. Prison musical show. Like actual one in the prison with secret outfits? I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm making this up as I go along. Do you think you can get me that? Big Jim's. Yeah. I don't know. It's gonna take another phone call. Oh, so is Mama like pimping all these girls? Like, not pimping, but having like sexual transaction relationships with these? Because if not, why is she uh, like? dressing gown, bathrobe thing. Since I can remember, I have wanted to be on the stage. Really? What's your talent? Washing and drying? <laughs> Burn. Honey, you want some advice? Here it is, direct from me to you. Keep your paws off my underwear. Good advice. Thanks. For muffin. <laughs> I'd like to help you, dearie. Thanks, Mama. What are we doing? Cook County ain't never hung a woman yet. So the odds are 47 to 1 that they won't hang you. Jesus, man. Joseph. <laughs> 47 to 1. Ugh. Seems pretty steep for a phone call. Oh, but he's worth every cent. I mean, he's never lost a case for a female client yet. Oh, all right. A sweet little puss like yours, well. Let's just say justice ain't so blind in Chicago. He Jesus, Mama. That's a bit much. We're all here. There you go, Billy. <laughs> Enjoy. Billy Flynn! <laughs> ah, Richard Gere. Are you really going to represent them with a little, you know, chimney sweep hat? I don't care for wearing silk cravats, ruby studs. Yeah, fair call, that's right. <laughs> I forgot there's two worlds going on. All I care about is love. Only cares about his love. Only cares about his love. This is a weird uh, motivation for a lawyer. Oh, 
yeah, he would be popular here, wouldn't he? <laughs> Kelly, do you remember anything at all about that night? I've had Grinch! What was that fucking name? Mom, tell you about me. Oh yeah, right, right, the cute one. Maybe <laughs> we could uh, make some sort of arrangement between us. Roxy. Keep those legs together. You call me when you got five thousand dollars. All he cares about is love. Show me long raven hair. Um, all he cares about is love. All he cares about is money. Okay, I'm with it. Well, hello, Andy. Amos. My name is Amos. That's right. Take a seat. Amos Moses. You're sticking by her. Makes you a hero in my eyes. That's right. I'm a hero. <laughs> 300 I borrowed from the guys down at the garage, and then there's 700, 700 from the building and loan fund. It's a couple of G's? Come on, Richard Gere, help him out. And I don't waste my time with dirty liars. Wow. God damn, Richard Gere. On the other hand, your devotion to your wife is really very, very touching. <laughs> All right. You're very hot and cold. Tell them we gotta raise some money for her defense. They'll buy everything she's ever touched. Everything. So we're just like relying on the fact that she's cute to do this? You know what? Why not? Let's go. Got high marks on courtesy and uh, hygiene. Perfect. You wanted to be a nun. <laughs> a nun? I don't quite think that. <laughs> Family fortune swept away. You're educated at the Sacred Heart. <laughs> He's just fabricating an entire story here. Oh, I'm never gonna get this straight. Pipe down to swear and look from here on in. You say nothing rougher than old dear. I'll try again. I was born on. <laughs> wow. So they're really just trying to paint her as this, like, doe-eyed country girl. I didn't mean to murder anybody. Blah 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 blah. Is that where we're going with this? I think Zell Widger can pull it off. <laughs> By the way, I also reacted to her movie Down With Love. Uh, so if you like that movie, go check that out too. Then I thought I'd take a peek at the jewelry like this. Lash him a bit of thigh, huh? What you... <laughs> well, well, well. Sorry to be late, Mr. Flip. Uh-huh. I hope you weren't too bored. I like it. Ugh, that look. <laughs> Don't forget, Billy Flynn's number one client is Billy Flynn. Meaning what? Right, I thought she was going to put some soap in a sock and start beating her. Both reach for the gun. That's right, you both reach for the gun. Ready? Yeah. But didn't she confess in front of a bunch of cops? Do you have any advice for young girls seeking to avoid a life of jazz and drink? <laughs> Flattered I am that y'all came to see me. Yeah, this is hard, it's very... You see, I was a moth. Crushed on the wheel, you know, uh... <laughs> I bet you want to know why I shot the bastard. <laughs> Shut up, Tommy. What are you saying that for? <laughs> Where'd you come from? Mississippi. Whoa, that's unsettling. She was granted one more start. The combine's up a sacred heart. Oh, wow. Zellweger was doing great in this scene as the um, ventriloquist dummy. Why'd you shoot him? I was leaving. Was he angry? Like a man. <laughs> this song is crazy good. Is it weird that he's like doing this press conference <laughs> though? Wow, that little movement into the uh, sitting pose. <laughs> <Dentable, understandable. laughs> Is she like a plant in the uh, media? Because he always calls on her. Mary Sunshine, that is. Oh, yeah. The gun, the gun, the gun, the gun. Oh, yes, they both. Wow. This is really about like just constructing that uh, public image and that, you know, buzz phrase like, you know, if the glove doesn't fit, you must acquit, basically. They both reach for the gun. Remember that, everyone. Great, great song. Move over, Al Capone. The Windy City has taken a new criminal. What year are we in? 
Can't even read this shit. I mean, 40 something, I think it was. He ever accused of murder in Chicago. Women want to look like her. Sellers want to go out. <laughs> what? <laughs> Everybody wants a little piece of Roxy Hart. <laughs> My God. This is nuts. This feels so far ahead of its time in many, many, many ways. Even though it's set well and truly in the past. How much is that gonna cost me? Well, there's a deal. 10% of all your takings. Yeah, well, we'll see, Mama. Mama is just operating a full-blown racket, isn't she? You know, before I met Amos, I used to date this well-to-do ugly bootlegger. He used to like to take me out and show me off. Ugly guys like to do that. <laughs> you know, all my life, I wanted to have my own act. Renee Zellweger looks really muscular in this movie. But you know, it is such a special night and you are such a great audience! Okay, all right, what's, what's the story here? On the bed department, Amos was... Zero. <laughs> Poor Amos. <laughs> oh, love you, honey, I love you. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and then I started screwing around, which is fooling around without dinner. <laughs> I guess it didn't really work out too great for Fred either. Wow. <laughs> it's gonna be Roxy, the lady. So, was it necessary to completely emasculate Amos in this song? <laughs> we seem to just jump straight to and fuck that guy, I murdered him. Just some dumb mechanic's wife I'm gonna be Roxy <sighs> Roxy doesn't sound like a mechanic's wife's name, I gotta say. It does sound like a burlesque superstar name though. We're gonna wait outside in line to get to see Roxy <laughs> Roxy, you got big plans uh, once you get out of prison, don't you? And that's because none of us got enough love in our childhoods. And that show is... <laughs> that's a random line to just chuck in the end there. <laughs> you know what, Roxy? Good for you. Oh, yeah, she's not looking very happy. I can't go anywhere without hearing about that dumb tomato! Oh, no, Mama, not you too. <gasps> Whoa, Mama, nice hair. Suck up to her like everybody else. That couldn't hurt. Over my dead body. You're the one that's to suck up the least, though, Velma. Oh, <laughs> I'm watching my figure. You know, the trial. Yeah, you don't get crazy jacked by numbing down triple caramels. I mean, you fit into her costumes perfectly. Really? Yeah, I, and I was thinking, you know... Oh, so we're just not buying it. Well, we'd be a natural to do an act together. You think so, huh? Uh huh. That is what I think. <laughs> I have to imagine it with two people. It's well with two people. First, I. Then she. <laughs> then I. Wow, this is, she is. Going nuts with the dance moves here. This is amazing. She'd say, What's your sister like? I'd say, Man. <laughs> She'd say, You're the cat's meow, and we'd wow the crowd again when she'd go. And the lighting of this movie is especially uh, impressive. Because you ain't seen nothing yet. Jesus Christ, that's Catherine Zeta-Jones, isn't it? Because she is dancing her fucking ass off in this. <laughs> Did she have dance experience before this movie? I know you're right. The first part, shit. The second part. The second part is... <laughs> Here we go. Rack him up again. Convincing Where's argument. the part where you blew her brains out? 
Okay, Roxy, I'll, I'll let her. Oh, no, no, no. Don't bother. You think you're fooling with me? You're all washed up, and it's me they want now. Whoa, hold up a second there, Roxy. Thelma Kelly's trial has been postponed indefinitely. Hmm. Wow. Wow, the, the fame and the, um... The ego really went to Roxy's head pretty damn hard, very fast. Direct from me to you. Oh, here we go. Play off the caramels. Ouch. They just arrested this woman for a triple homicide. Really? Yeah, get this. She's an heiress. Hey, she's got $5,000. She goes to change. When she returns, she notices something rather odd. Oh. That is quite odd. Hey, Lucy Lou, what are you doing here? Gently wakes up Harry. <laughs> Harry, what are you doing, mate? Come on, Tom. You gotta believe what you see or what I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what, Harry? I think it will. Yeah, it was a triple homicide, wasn't it? Christ. But meanwhile, Billy's just yucking it up with his floozies about other people's distressing murder business. Good work, buddy. Sorry, dear. I'm sorry. Sorry I got caught. Oh. <laughs> That's nice. Miss Baxter, Miss Baxter, did you know these two ladies personally? Oh, is this the new, the new hot shit? And now Roxy's old dudes. Her mother owns all the pineapples in Hawaii. What the hell do I care? Wow, Billy, you're a scumbag. J. Edgar Hoover couldn't find your name in the papers. Yeah. Now you're gonna have to ask Catherine Zeta-Jones for help. And it's gonna be humble and embarrassing. Mr. Flynn? And she's gonna make you work for it too. <laughs> oh, I only hope the fall didn't hurt the baby. Baby? <laughs> Roxy. <laughs> Congratulations, Roxy. <laughs> She is. Stay she in court. Is? Yes. Good. But near fly. Oh my god. So when she has like a 11, 12 month pregnancy, people are going to be wondering what's going on? Roxy, I just heard the good news! I'm the father! I'm the You're not the father. Some random doctor is the father. You don't want no part of this, do we? She's bad news. <laughs> Cellophane, Mr. Cellophane. What are you getting at, Dewey? What is this? I never know I'm there, I tell you. <laughs> See, Roxy is just a different speed to you, bro. You know when she's due? September. No, oh, but we pass out those. How good are you at math, Amos? Laugh? Why would they laugh? Because they can count. <laughs> September. It hasn't set in, has it? <laughs> yeah, I guess we hadn't done no copulating since... Wait a minute. There you go. I'll divorce her! You got $5,000? <laughs> I'm, I'm now curious how Amos is going to continue to factor into this movie. Does he? Or is this his swan song? Hope I didn't take up too much of your time. I don't know. Are you coming back or what? You're wearing it because I tell you to wear it. I'm not wearing this dress. And when Andy's on the stand... Wow, she just does not get it, does she? Look at here, Mr. Mouthpiece. It seems to me that I am the one who's coming up with the good ideas. Okay, Miss $2,000. Better than being a greasy Mick lawyer. Who happens to be saving your ass? <laughs> wow. They love you a lot more if you're a hang. Do you know why? Because they sell more papers. You're fine. Feels like an agent and a star, but it's lawyer and criminal. This is crazy. A couple of weeks, no one's gonna give a shit about you. That's Chicago. Wow. Drop the bomb. It's the honey egg. She lost her last appeal. Oh, the innocent one. She gets hung? Yeah, I bet you wish you had your lawyer to talk to now. Jesus. We proudly present. Whoa, what is this gonna be? <laughs> Hungarian disappearing act. Is that a death dance or is that an escape dance? 
By the way, who the hell wants to stand around and watch this happen? Whew. And that's the first time a woman has been executed in the state of Illinois. You know, it's really not that bad. <laughs> smart, Roxy. Very smart. You ask me back, I do all the talking this time. Absolutely, Billy. Whatever you say. Yeah, now she knows she's going to die if she keeps getting denied. That's a hell of a way to snap. Yeah, that's exactly... What am I trying to say here? That'll snap you into the line quick smart. <laughs> These trials, the whole world, it's... It's all show business. Yeah, right, Billy, sing us a song about it. Give on the old hocus pocus Beat and feather rum I kind of like the uh, lyrical patterns in this song so far. Give them the old razzle dazzle, razzle dazzle hum. Give them a show that's so splendid for us, row after row. Is that actually Richard Gere's singing voice? Because I don't know if I'm a fan. <laughs> <laughs> He's good. <laughs> it's quite the display there. Gear. Richie Gear, RG, Billy, whatever we're calling you. Though you are stiffer than a girder, they let you get away with murder. Yeah, I guess that's the plan here, isn't it? <laughs> you share a bed with your wife? Yes, sir, every night. Well, you expect this jury to believe that you slept next to this woman? Every night without exercising your right. <laughs> Did you even bother to ask her if you were the father of a child? No, sir. No, no. What? If you became convinced that you were wrong, you'd be mad enough to admit. That's some quality lawyering there, Billy. Oh, Razzle Dazzleum. What a lovely reunion. Good work. <laughs> Good lawyering. Christ, this chick on the hoop there is going apeshit. Finally takes the stand in her own defense. Here you go, Roxy. Time to razzle-dazzle. I'm afraid that's true. You're an honest girl, Roxy. <laughs> so you drifted into this illicit relationship because you were unhappy at home. Yes, I was, I was most unhappy. Whoa. Roxy Hart! The state has accused you of the murder of Fred Casely. I Is that her little... Like, her putting some pepper on it? I'll kill you before I see you have another man's child! Could you tell the audience, the jury, what happened next? <laughs> Funny look in his eyes, he was angry and wild! 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 <laughs> Roxy, you are so full of shit. Oh, Mama, that was my bit. I told Billy I was going to do that at my trial. Oh, she stole her move. <laughs> Mrs. Hart has fainted again. <laughs> Revealing a glimpse of a blue garter with a rhinestone buckle. Oh, hello. You think I got you up here just so you can listen to my radio? People write some pretty interesting things when they think no one's looking. It's a little bit private, isn't it? Mama, you be sneaking. Oh. Wait, what? Will you please tell the court if the object I am holding is the one you happen to come upon in the defendant's jail cell? Yes, it is. Mama, you screwed her over? Invasion of privacy and violation of the Fourth Amendment and, and the illegal search without a warrant. Yeah, and she broke the lock. Roxy. What a laugh. Plug in Fred Casely. The big baboon had it coming. Oh, so what? They f forged it? Your witness, Mr. Flynn. 
Ladies and gentlemen, a tap dance. Oh, now Flynn's gonna have to think on his on his feet. Maybe to drop all charges against you in exchange for testifying here today? Well, sure, I'm not a complete idiot. <laughs> oh, no, and she's gonna best him, isn't she? Amos accused me of having an affair, so I told him that the charge was erroneous. Objection, Your Honor. Mr. Flynn is twisting this evidence to draw conclusions that are specious and... Uh, erroneous? Exactly. <laughs> Diary was a fake. I hate to think of you rotting away in prison for the next 10 years, especially... All I know is what I was told. By who? Oh, no. So, someone who writes about mm, reneging on pledges and, and, and erroneous charges. You call me crazy. Doesn't that sound like a lawyer to you? Ooh, good work, Richie. Thoroughly and utterly absurd. But now that you mention it. Your Honor, this is outrageous. Yeah, in real life, you can't just bust out surprise evidence like this. <laughs> oh, what are you doing, Flynn? This trial? The defense rests. What's this plan? I mean, it was quite the performance, but what was that? Gentlemen of the jury, have you reached a verdict? We have, Your Honor. Just gentlemen? We, the jury, find the defendant. Oh, what? Something wrong with your newspapers there, I think. It is innocent. Okay. Jesus Christ, movie. Where are you going to pull the old switcheroo? What the hell? Oh, wait. Is this going to initiate a spree of husband murders? Yesterday's news, kid. See, Billy will tell you. He's a Chicago kid. You can't beat fresh blood on the walls. <laughs> same, same message, different words. Erroneous phrases in there. Sorry, I couldn't tell you. Wait, what? You're a free woman, Roxy Hart. Thanks, man. What a weird, like, un underwhelming outcome to this court case <laughs> it's just no fanfare nobody cares there were lies oh amos is still sitting there sorry i didn't see you there amos what do you take me for very no baby oh the doctor didn't impregnate her he was just willing to lie for her got it oh, but wait there was a discrepancy with the months good man amos that one's too much trouble. <laughs> Miss Roxy Hart says good night. Wow. And is this in her head though, or is this what she actually gets to go do? You can even marry Harry, but mess around with like So nothing has changed for you, I see. <laughs> Is that face there at the end? It looks like furious anger. <laughs> Didn't she kill a guy a while back? <laughs> yeah, who can keep him straight anymore? But mess around with Ike. You know what? At least she's not a gimmick act like the husband murderer. She can get a job on her own merits and her own talent, or maybe not. Just a second, I'm not. God damn it! They just walked out. Hmm. Oh, Velma. I'll put that at the top of my list right after finding a job and an apartment with a John. Just shut up and listen oh, to me. You really are something. Coming in here like... Roxy, you are the worst. <laughs> you are so unlikable right now. I got a new life now. One without a house? He said one jazz killer is nothing these days, but two... On hard times, are you, Velma? Maybe we could ask for a thou. We're worth it. <laughs> It'll never work. That would sound like a pretty genuine offer, though. I hate you. Oh, wow. There's okay. only one business in the world where that's no problem at all. Now, those own killer killers, those scintillating sinners, Roxy Hart and Velma Rose. Oh, 
we go. This is the double act. You got a lot of hair there, Roxy. I knew something was going to be going on underneath those gigantic robes. Oh, we got tassels. Both of these two can dance their fucking asses off, man. Uh, what is that at the end of uh, Down Down for Love? Uh, Catherine Zady Jones is a big uh, no. Uh, the other one, Zellwidger. She does a dance thing there that's really really crazy, and Catherine Zady Jones is just going off in this movie. <laughs> well done I will clap that hey mama came down to watch the performance we could not have done it without you am I supposed to be reading into that line <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, the uh, costumes, the dance numbers, like the production of this movie is absolutely off the chain. Oh, Harvey Weinstein was involved. That makes me sad. Zell Widger, you did a great job. Catherine Zeta Jones is hot as in this. Uh, who else we got? Richard Gere. Yeah, he's Richard Gere, man. That's what he does. And then we get Chicago. I did like Queen Latifah. John C. Riley was amazingly pathetic. Brief look at Lucy Lou in a bra. Good on, good on you. That was a spectacle. <laughs> that was an absolute spectacle. The way that story was told with the, uh, the the jumping back and forth between reality and these like musical, you know, burlesque kind of swinging kind of numbers. I thought it worked really well and feels very ahead of its time with the whole manipulate the public opinion for the purpose of, you know, uh, swaying the hand of the law kind of thing. I feel like that's something that's way more relevant now than it was in 2002. And I don't know when this story was written, the Chicago story. Obviously, it's set way back in the day. But that's a very, very interesting take to blend murder, Hollywood and, like, entertainment prison like just all the way they just blended all these subjects together it went it's like peanut butter and chocolate you know in terms of my favorite song uh the one i think was it called he deserved uh he deserved it the one where they're all talking about how they murdered their husbands that was pretty amazing and uh uh be good to mama was that the queen latifah one that was awesome as well but honestly these were all great like jazzy uh kind of uh vaudevillian songs and all of the actors probably with the exception of richard Gere, all of the actors uh, had great singing voices zell Widger is amazing in this stuff Catherine zeta jones didn't realize it but she's obviously very musically inclined and coordinated and beautiful and very very um uh, very interesting and very engaging in this movie is Catherine zeta jones Overall, I enjoyed it. I can see why in 2002 this was such a big deal. I remember this just being everywhere, just advertised everywhere, and I never picked up on it. What would I have been in 2002? I would have been like 16, I guess. So it definitely wasn't on my radar back then, but honestly, after seeing some of those uh, uh, lingerie dance scenes, it, maybe it should have been on my radar, but... It's fine. I enjoyed checking this one out with you guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you do want a full length version of this one, patreon.com slash FWCI is where you can get it for $5 reduce a month. And as always, everyone, be well, stay safe, look after your friends. See you in the next video. Peace.